Aquatic macroinvertebrates are the insects and other um, creatures without a backbone that live on the bottom of the stream. And we collect them using a D-frame kick net. We take six D-frame kick net samples and composite those into one sample. And that sample is put in a jar and taken back to the lab where the insects and other creatures that we get in there, crayfish, um, amphipods, uh, those are identified. And then from that data, we can determine water quality. Because each, each type of bug has a different level of tolerance to um, different kinds of pollutants. So we can actually use this community to determine uh, whether the water quality is good or if there are some problems present. Mayflies, stoneflies, and caddisflies, those are the Ephemeroptera, Pocoptera, Trichoptera orders. Those bugs tend to be very sensitive to water quality and we tend to see them uh, quite frequently. Those are the ones that um, you want to see in a healthy stream. From that area we did get stonefly. This is family pearl a day. These are the common stoneflies and they're a large predator so they eat other aquatic insects. And they tend to be one of the more common stoneflies that you'll find. Um, but they are very sensitive to pollution. So having a lot of these guys means that you probably have pretty good water quality. Um, we collect the whole sample. So all of the leaves and rocks and things that are um, in the net, we will put those into a bucket and then run that through a sieve. And then um, all that material is then put into a jar that we'll take back to the lab. It's a clam and a snail and other things like scuds. This is um, actually an invasive um, clam. This is a corbicula. After we're done collecting a sample, we make sure and rinse the net really well so that we don't accidentally get any bugs from a previous sample into the next sample.